If you clicked on this video, you are probably thinking about spray painting your sink. More specifically, spray painting your sink with this. <laughs> this is Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy. It is paint built for um, appliances. Basically what I got from reading the description and conditions of this paint, you're supposed to use this for like a Fridge. refrigerator, but we <laughs> had the bright idea of using it on a kitchen sink. Um, we saw a few other videos on YouTube talking about it and we kind of decided to try it for ourselves in our own way because every video we saw, people were doing it differently. And from each of those videos, we kind of took the parts that made the most sense and kind of came up with our own plan to try to paint the sink. And um, this video is basically just saying, don't do it. Don't waste your money. Um, especially on a sink that you plan on keeping for a long time. Yep. We planned on using this sink for as long as we needed to, but we were obviously kind of on the fence of buying a new one, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, no. So we were in the process of redoing or like updating our kitchen and the stainless steel did not go with our other appliances. So we decided to paint it. Because our appliances are black and our cabinets are white. So we figured a white sink would be okay. Now it is in the shop again. <laughs> so we, <laughs> sinks aren't the cheapest they're not super expensive but no. you know the sink we wanted was like 200 something dollars please leave <laughs> we weren't trying to cheap out we were just trying to see if this would work because it seemed like a lot of people were trying to make it work um in videos and we kind of wanted to put it to its like ultimate test and try to do it the best way that we could for the process of actually painting it we took it out um cleaned it as best we could we used a wire brush on a drill to scratch off all of the gunk and to kind of etch the surface so it would take the primer better. Mm -hmm. The primer was also a self etching primer just like for maximum cohesion. Um, we did three light coats of primer which kind of came out to just one solid coat mm -hmm. following the directions of the can and we did the same with this. We did I think it was four coats. Uh, the can says primer isn't recommended but we saw a couple of videos where people tried it without primer as well and it was scratching really bad. We followed the directions the best we could and it still came out. I'll just get it. I'll get this one. Here she is. This is after about... I would say two weeks. Two weeks of, of just it. normal use. Yeah, but we weren't like throwing pots and pans in here or tossing silverware mm -hmm. or anything. Like we were being very cautious with it yep. just because we didn't want this to happen. <laughs> but it happened anyways. We basically were trying to give it its best chance of working. Yeah. We weren't, you know, scratching it or anything. Um, the big gash was the first one that kind of popped up. We had a crock pot in the sink for overnight to let it soak. And then when we took it out the next morning to put it in the dishwasher, it just took a giant gouge out of the paint. And now that the paint is scratched, you can literally just like- Peel it right off. Take it right off. We have after shots of what it looked like after we were done. It really didn't look bad. It looked pretty good because especially because the primer we used one can of primer and I think about a can and a fourth of paint mm -hmm. and all that together was like $15 and we're not super disappointed because we didn't really think it was going to work that great anyway. I didn't really have high hopes. Yeah. I didn't get my hopes up. No. I mean, after it came out and it was, it was lasting for about a week, you know, it didn't have any scratches on it. We thought it was actually going to work really good and we were uh -huh. like, Hey, look, you can redo your sink for $15. Really cool clickbait thumbnail title, lots of views. That's the sad truth is that it's it doesn't work. Maybe if you have a um, a bathroom sink that you don't use a lot. Yeah. And like, you know, you just wash your hands in occasionally, like a downstairs bathroom, and it was an ugly color and you wanted to use this paint to do it. Sure, maybe. But anything that gets a lot of use, like your kitchen sink or your main bathroom sink, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't do it. Dang it. Darn it. Dang, flab it. We thought we we thought we had it. We thought we were smart, you know, going the, the cheaper route. Yeah. But we still ended up buying a new sink, which I'm kind of happy we did. Yeah, because I liked it a lot better. the sink that we ended up buying, um, it was like 200 bucks, which isn't bad. You're in the shot again, but that's okay. <laughs> um Alan, no one wants to see your butthole i don't think they can see your butthole it's probably just the top of her tail uh oh maybe if you see your butthole i'm sorry i'll <laughs> censor this spray paint doesn't work for sinks myth busted it's not bad paint 
Is it even recommended for kitchen sinks? Nope. So hopefully we saved your sink from... And some money. And oh, some money. I guess not some money. Oh, yeah. So you didn't have to buy it. But, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Yeah. Have a good day, bitch.